What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about Trump Media. I want to go over some of the current data points, what shorts have been up to, and whether right now is a good time to buy or not. Before I get into any of that, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So starting off, DJT is pulling back 8.53%, a lot of volume today, so 10.5 million shares being traded, 10.1 is the average. Compared to yesterday though, night and day difference uh, as far as volume, so that's again something to kind of keep in mind, because for a momentum play such as DJT, you need a lot of money getting in. Today is fairly good, so these are all the transactions occurring on the secondary market above $100,000 so far. But yesterday, there was an excess of 600 transactions. So night and day difference, like I said. So this is why you did see it go up roughly around 31%, a little bit more than that yesterday. And that's clearly just a lot of tension because of the whole assassination attempt. I'm pretty sure everyone is fully aware of that at this stage in the game. But in comparison, like I said, for volume, this is why you are seeing it go down because algorithmic trading is kind of countering a lot of these institutional transactions. So again, you kind of have a little bit more of a battle, despite the fear and greed index being at 63. So under the greed category, meaning people's appetite for risk is very much on the table. So this is why I did want to do this video because a lot of people are seeing it pull down today and wondering, is this it? Is it going to once again pull back to kind of the high 20s or is it done? So I wanted to again go over everything. With retail sales coming out better than anticipated, you do see consumers being once again those pillars within the economy that is keeping it afloat. So out there making the money, earning the jobs and whatever else. So I think in general, that is good. And once rate cuts do occur in September, which right now I think that's a fair assumption it will, you are going to see an increase in buying power coming from consumers. So once again, if that fear and greed index and people's appetite for risk maintains fairly high, you are going to see a lot of attention, especially going closer to the actual votes, presidential votes, then Trump media will definitely be getting a hell of a lot of attention. So once again, this is more for short term, but long term, I think DJT should do fairly well. But getting right to it, shorts. Shorts have been somewhat of a pain to G DJT. So 18.62% of the free flow is being shorted. That works out to be 11.06 million shares. So fairly high stuff. Right now, shorts are increasing 1.09 million shares. And this is why I like to analyze this type of information because by shorts increasing on this very much red day kind of shows that they see a lot more downside. So that's just my own interpretation, of course, because yeah, shorts are increasing almost 11% just today alone. Utilization, 91.83%. Short score, 77.73. And also, I guess I should clarify, them increasing 1.09 million that is net. So they probably are significantly more uh, than this right here for the volume. So again, it's uh, kind of countering a lot of the institutions as well. So just be aware of that. Looking at options, though, a lot of money is getting into DJT through options, 11 million in calls, 9.24 million in puts. Sentiment wise, though, 49% of all the options being done so far are bearish and clearly anticipating for it to trend down. Of the call options that are being purchased though, you do see a consensus for it to be roughly, it's kind of hard, but a uh, monthly chain, which is the July 19th is a lot of volume, but more so it's kind of pointing to around the $40 range. And then looking at the puts, you do see a consensus for it to be sub roughly about like 35 to 33. So there's a little bit more upside anticipated. So the risk versus reward is very much there. Just I think at this stage in the game, people are somewhat panicked by it kind of pulling down. And it's more linked to the technicals. So I have actually brought up DJT in my pre market videos over the last two days. And so far, I've been very, very accurate on what has been or what's been happening for the most part. So with it at $37, it's just been following the technicals almost to a T. And this is what does typically happen when you have a lot of algorithmic trading kind of playing a part in that. So right now with it at 36 and change it is trading between this pivot and this R1. So 3607 is that very strong support did bounce off of that. It does appear that it might be retesting that probably in the next hour and a half possibly. 
possibly. So just watch for this pivot point to hold because if it does break below that, then this is where in theory it could trend back to where it was kind of the high 20s possibly. And then on the flip side, 4592. So when it did run up, I think at the time of me doing that video, it was at 46. And so I did say that most likely it was going to break below this R1. So very predictable in my opinion. But nonetheless, though, I think given based on the consensus and obviously I live in Canada, so I don't really care who obviously wins the presidential, whether it be Biden or Trump. Uh, so I don't want to get political or anything like that. But the consensus from what I can see is based on everything, it looks like Trump is potentially going to be the favored candidate, right? So if that does happen, then this is where DJT in theory will go up significantly. So yeah, I, I think in general it depends on, um, I guess also this could be seen as a very kind of hedge on who's going to win. So if again, Trump wins, then this is where things could go up because you're going to see a very big increase to his platform. And through that, the stock would definitely go up. A lot of money would be paying attention to it. In the short term right now, though, I do feel just that it will continue to kind of trend down and break below this pivot point. And in my opinion, you kind of have to look back. So right now I'm looking at the one day just to look at the four hour, you do see some other strong support and resistance points. I don't see it hitting to that low 28. If anything, I think it is going to bounce off of this $33 range. And so that's where it'll be kind of not necessarily as overblown and overbought as what it previously was. So in my opinion, uh, right now isn't the best time to buy. Uh, rather, if you're looking for more of a swing trade, it'd be so, more so associated to this point right here. So this R3, unless something does dramatically change within the economy and the buying power starts to diminish and people's appetite for risk goes down, then yes, this could definitely change and go down uh, quite a lot. But all in all, uh, considering the status quo, this one definitely needs to be added to a lot of people's watch list because I think bigger picture, this could make a lot of people some pretty good money. On the actual chart itself, it is higher percentile of the boiling band, stochastic. You do see a nice bullish deviation, so white line about the red. And today, there's again just a certain level of profit taking as number of buyers are down slightly. So. I think in general, DJT is a very unique circumstance. I don't think this has ever happened in the past, but it's uh, if you can make money on anything, like why not? So this is just my quick analysis on what shorts have been doing, uh, where a good time to buy is, and where it might be heading next. So let me know your thoughts on DJT. Do you own it? Do you like do options? Because a lot of money is getting into DJT through options. Are you doing that or are you just buying common stock? What's your thoughts? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. One final thing, take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it, and they give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. Kick-ass deal. Link in the description below and also the comments. With all that, appreciate all of you watching.